Hello dear children, in a previous video we discussed in detail about what is electromotive force, what is the terminal voltage and how EMF terminal voltage are related to the internal resistance. Especially dear children, in this video what are we going to do actually? Dear children, in this video we are going to solve the numericals and the specialty of this session is that by using single circuit we are going to solve the 10 numericals with a single circuit we are going to solve the 10 numericals of course by seeing this you may get one doubt sir it is a so simple circuit how can we solve the 10 numericals so that is what actually the magic and logic of this session so dear children what we will be doing slowly we will be developing the circuit so that we can solve the different numericals based on different concepts so i can say that dear children all concepts will be covered in this only one session. So, let us see that. Dear children, first look at here. Here two resistors are connected in parallel. So, how to calculate the first question? How to calculate the resultant resistance of these two resistors? As they are connected in parallel, direct formula which we have to solve it. So, what is that? Children, the first one. So, as both are connected in parallel, dear children, let us take direct formula. Children, here we have a one formula what is that 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 if not you can use this direct formula rp is equal to children it is r1 r2 by it is r1 plus r2 now let us substitute here let us say here r1 is 4 ohm and r2 will be 6 ohm now you substitute each children here what do you get here 4 into 6 by it is 4 plus 6 that is 24 by 2.4 so you will get it as a rp is equal to 2.4 ohm that's it children we solved one numerical now what we will do let us try to extend this numerical by adding one more resistor let us name it as a r3 and its value is 2 ohm now how to calculate the resultant resistance of these three resistors Dear children, already we calculated the resultant resistance of these two resistors and if you can observe clearly, this combination is in series with this third resistor. So, which formula which, why, which we have to use, what is that concept, series combination of resistors we have to use. So, this result resistance should be added to this. So, let us say the resultant resistance of these three, this plus this is equal to. So, the second numerical, what are we going to do children? We are calculating the resultant resistance of these three resistors. That is Rs. Because dear children, these two combination and this resistor, both are in series. So, here Rs is equal to R3 plus Rp. R3 plus Rp. R3 is given how much? 2 ohm it is. It is given 2 ohm plus Rp we got already 2.4. So, here rs is equal to we got 4.4 ohm 4.4 ohm which we got now what are we going to do dear children so let us try to connect in this circuit let us try to connect a battery whose emf is 5 volts and internal resistance is 0 0.6 ohms children now we are connecting a battery whose emf is 5 volts and whose internal resistance is 0 0.6 ohm. Now, let us complete the circuit. Switch on this one. What will happen? The current starts flowing. That is fine. Now, dear children, what is the total current which is flowing in the circuit? So, next question, what are we going to do? We are going to calculate the total amount of current in this circuit. Children, let us recall. What is the formula to calculate the total current in the circuit? So, children, the third one we are calculating the total current in the circuit i is equal to total current i is equal to emf by emf by total resistance emf by total resistance which if you can see here total how many resistors are there one two three and one more resistance is there that is very very important that is what actually internal resistance smaller is there smaller digital anyhow already we calculated the resultant resistance of these three resistors and here we should not forget one very very important thing is that children 
the internal resistance is always in series with external the combination of external resistors combination of external resistors so here total resistance means how we should now this is the external resistance plus internal resistance so external resistance how much we got each limb already we calculated it is a 4.4 so this is going to be emf by rs plus small r rs plus small r now let us calculate here emf is given that is 5 volts that is 5 by so rs that is what total resistance of the external circuit will be how much it is 4.4 plus 0.6 is what each length internal resistance so this is how much it is 5 by 5 so here total current in the circuit is how much each length 1 ampere we got so this are third numerical based on this circuit so next we are going to calculate the amount of currents which are flowing through r1 and r2 just you can copy this uh, these answers then we will continue so children uh, the total current in the circuit we got how much we got we got 1 ampere so here 1 ampere is a total current which is flowing in the in the circuit but now next question which we are going to solve is that what is the amount of current which is flowing through r1 and what is the amount of current which is flowing through r2 did children so the moment when current enters here what happens here as these two are in parallel current gets divided let us say did children i1 is the uh, amount of current which is flowing through the r1 but whereas i2 is the amount of current which is flowing through the r2 then how to calculate i1 so did children so fourth numerical so what we have to do first we are going to calculate the i1 so did children here i1 is equal to i1 is equal to total current into r2 by r1 plus r2 so which you will get 1 into 6 by 4 plus 6 this will be 6 by 10 6 by 10 is how much dear children it will be 0 0.6 amperes 0 0.6 amperes amount of current will flow through this 0 0.6 amounts amount of current which is flowing through the r1 resistor then next question then what is the amount of current which is flowing through the r2 resistor dear children if you want to calculate i2 we have a direct formula i into r1 by r1 plus r2 you can use this formula or dear children we know that the total current i is equal to i1 plus i2 either you can use this formula or you can use this formula all in total current we know that that is 1 ampere is equal to i1 we got already 0 0.6 so plus it will be i2 so dear children here i2 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6 so this will be how much 0 0.4 amperes so dear children this is how we can calculate the amount of current through the resistors which are connected in a parallel so next what are we going to do next what is a sum which we are going to discuss dear children next we are going to calculate potential drop and terminal voltage just you copy these solutions then we will continue now dear children the sixth numerical we are doing based on the same circuit that is how to calculate the potential drop dear children potential there we always there will be a drop in potential across the battery only then how to calculate that drop in potential so children next we are calculating potential drop potential <coughs> drop dear children so here potential drop is equal to children total current into internal resistance always dear children when you can multiply total current into internal resistance we will get potential drop so dear children potential drop is symbol is small v yeah total current in the circuit is how much one ampere one into what is the internal resistance it is 0 0.6 so 1 into 0 0.6 so dear children the potential drop is 0 0.6 volt the potential drop is how much dear children 0 0.6 volt now let us calculate the terminal voltage let us calculate the terminal voltage across the battery dear children so what is the terminal voltage the terminal voltage dear children that is capital v we will multiply total current into external resistance children it's very 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 important 
in order to calculate the potential drop what we have done just we have multiplied total current into internal resistance but whereas dear children whenever we are calculating the terminal voltage we should not consider the internal resistance only we have to consider the external resistance that is total current into external resistance dear children other than this internal resistance now just let us find out what are those external resistors dear children 1 2 3 these three are connected now what is the resultant resistance of these three resistors dear children already we calculated already we calculated in a, a second question only so there how much we got we got 4.4 we got so let us take that 4.4 resistance to calculate the terminal voltage so it will be dear children i is equal to how much 1 ampere 1 ampere and external resistance already we calculated that is how much dear children it is 4.4 so here v is equal to 4.4 volts 4.4 dear children so here sometimes we may get a doubt whatever we calculated potential drop and terminal voltage whether is it right or wrong dear children we can cross check how can we cross check we know that emf is always equal to terminal voltage plus potential drop so emf is how much dear children 5 volts so 5 volts is equal to terminal voltage is how much we got 4.4 so it is 4.4 plus potential drop is how much potential drop is 0.6 0.6 look at here so it is a 5 is equal to 5 so whatever we calculated the potential drop and terminal voltage both are correct only seventh numerical based on the circuit dear children potential that is terminal voltage or else let us say next seventh numerical dear children we are going to calculate the potential difference across r3 resistor so potential difference potential difference across across r3 is equal to how much dear children here we have to use the concept of ohms law what is ohms law dear children v is equal to ir that's it so let us recall that v is equal to ir e is equal to ir so in the place of r we have to take r3 then what here i dicin as r3 resistor is in series so definitely the total amount of current can flow through it so the amount of current which is flowing through this is how much dicin 1 ampere so it will be i is equal to 1 into r3 is equal to how much dicin r3 is a 2 ohm is given so here v is equal to it is 2 volts 2 volts so this is the potential difference across r3 resistor but how to calculate the potential difference across r1 dicin again same concept of ohms law which we are going to use r1 dicin you may get one doubt sir then how do you calculate the potential difference across r2 dicin here r1 and r2 both are in parallel so whenever resistors are connected in a parallel the potential difference across that resistors will be same always so either you can connect r1 you can connect to r2 so it will be same for both resistors so now potential difference across the r1 so let us use ohms law v is equal to i r1 but here current can we take here one ampere dicin no we should not take that so the amount of current which is passing through that resistor you should take so now through this resistor let us say i1 current is passing so here i1 is equal to how much dicin i1 is equal to uh we got here 0.6 0.6 into r1 is equal to how much dear children r1 is equal to 4 so it will be 4 so 0.6 into 4 so it will be 2.4 volts 2.4 volts so this is a potential difference across r1 resistor and as well as even r2 resistor so this is how actually we can calculate the potential difference across the resistors which are connected in the circuit just copy it i think uh, this is a 8th numerical and it is a 9th numerical so now dear children the last one the last numerical what are we going to calculate is that dear children sometimes you know what will happen you know they will ask us to calculate the total current which is passing through the circuit but the condition is that if if the condition what the condition dear children they last like this find or calculate total current find total current 
total current in the circuit if if given cell is ideal given cell is ideal if it is a ideal cell if it is a ideal cell is given this children so if it is a ideal cell this children when you can say uh, actually a given cell is ideal children actually in fact actually practical ideal cell is not possible because the cell whose internal resistance is zero is called actually ideal cell so such a cell is not at all possible actually but it is possible only in a assumptions so here what they are saying here given cell is ideal which means what resultant resistance is sorry the internal resistance is zero so we should not consider of course it is given but specially they are asking us to calculate total current if so they are asking us to assume if it is a ideal cell then what is the total amount of current in the circuit so then what we what we have to do the children so total current is equal to emf by total resistance total resistance now total resistance the children we should not consider internal resistance we should not consider internal resistance so here emf is given already that is 5 volts but total resistance means what the children the combination of these three resistors which already we calculated so how much we got we got it as a 4.4 it is 5 by 4.4 how much you will get the children it is 50 by 44 50 by 44 so approximately you will get 1 point something amperes you will get 1 per decilen when internal resistance is considered we exactly got 1 ampere only 1 ampere we got it but now we are going to get current more than 1 ampere why we are getting more than 1 ampere current decilen because here as we are not considering the internal resistance the resistance is decreasing so did you remember that whenever resistance decreases what happens the amount of current in the circuit increases so dear children so this is how actually we can calculate the numericals we can solve the numericals so step by step that's a very very important thing so we have to develop the concept so by developing the concepts we have to solve the numericals one by one hope it's a very clear and next session dear children we are going to solve few more numericals uh, based on different concepts thank you so much all the very best